Welcome to XC597 Circuit Simulation and Modeling. Uh, this video will be short. We'll be introducing the element stamps for voltage sources and short circuits, which are essentially zero-valued voltage sources. Um, so um, let me start as usual by stating the learning outcomes. We'll develop a stamp so you'll be able to develop a stamp for voltage source, a stamp for a short circuit, which, as I said earlier, you can view it as a zero-valued voltage source. Um, this will allow us to obtain branch currents, right? So you will figure out how to obtain branch currents in the context of uh, the MLA formulation and circuit simulation. Um, and you will be able to update your program so that it can handle uh, voltage sources and, and uh, short circuits. So as usual, we're going to start with an example. Um, so here we have a circuit with a voltage source and we would like to perform nodal analysis. All right, so we need to write KCL at node 1 and at node 2. And in order to do that, we need the current in the voltage source. So we're going to define IE as the current in the voltage source. And now we can write KCL at node 1. So we have the current in resistor G1, which is G1 V1 minus V2. And the current in the source, which is simply IE. So this is KCL at node 1. KCL at node 2, we have uh, the current in resistor G1, which is G1 multiplied by V2 minus V1. We have the current in resistor G2, which is V2 G2. And we have the current in the capacitor, which is C V2 dot. Okay, so now we have two equations, our two nodal equations, um, KCL at node 1 and KCL at node 2, but we have three unknowns, V1, V2, and the current IE, so we need an additional equation, and that is simply given by the model for the voltage source, which tells us that V1 is equal to E. So now we have three equations and three unknowns, and we can uh, write these equations in a matrix format, All right? So uh, just as a, I guess, sanity check, we can double check the stamp of resistor G1, right? So it's as expected, G1 minus G1 minus G1, G1 between row one, row two, column one, column two, because of the connection between node one and node two, right? G1 is connected between node one and node two. Right. Capacitor C appears in the C matrix in row one, or sorry, row two, column two. It's connected to node two and ground, so that's as expected as well. Okay, so now the voltage source, our voltage source, its contribution to the MNA equation. So we have a one, one, and E. So we had to add a new column corresponding to the new variable we added, IE. So this one here is simply adding IE to KCL at node 1. And we need to add a new row, which corresponds to the new model equation for our voltage source, which tells us that V1, so we have a 1 multiplied by V1 here, so V1 is equal to E. All right, so that is the stamp of our voltage source and we can generalize the stamp so if you have a stamp between node uh, sorry a voltage source between node i and ground all right we need to add a new column corresponding to the current ie in our by we're basically adding ie as an additional variable in our unknown variable vectors and so we have a new column Right, and we have a plus one in this new column corresponding to row i because we need to add ie to kcl at node i all right so we have a plus one here and we have a plus one over here right so um so we have the this tells us that 
v, v i is equal to e, right? Okay, so this is my stamp for a voltage source connected to node i and ground, and uh, we can generalize even further if you have a voltage source connected between node i and node j. It has a very similar stamp, except that now it appears in KCL equations for row i and row j, right, for node i and node j. And we have to add ie in one case and subtract ie in the other. So we have plus 1, minus 1. And the model equation for our voltage source is simply vi minus vj is equal to e. So we have plus 1, minus 1, and e. Okay, and one thing actually that, uh, you know, you may have noticed so far is that all of the stamps that we've developed so far are symmetric. Right, so our m and equations, the matrices, so far have been symmetric. Okay. All right, so this is our voltage source stamp. Now let's take a look at a short circuit stamp. And one way to think about a short circuit is a voltage source with zero voltage. All right, so a zero valued voltage source. So as expected then, the short circuit stamp will be very similar to the voltage source stamp, except that the right hand side, instead of having E in it, it'll have zero, right? So, uh, so we'll see that shortly. But why would we add a voltage source, sorry, a short circuit stamp in our circuit? Well, that's one way to compute the, the current in a branch, right? So by adding a voltage source, Right. The stamp automatically adds the current in that voltage source as one of the variables. So if you add a zero valid voltage source, you really haven't changed the circuit, just adding a short circuit in a, in a branch, in series with a branch. And that automatically adds the current in that branch to your variables and it gets computed as you're computing the, unknown the, unknowns, uh, the unknown vector. All right, so that's uh, one uh, application. The other application is in many cases, and we will see that when we have when we look at controlled sources, a branch current is the controlling variable for a source. <laughs> so for us to have that as a variable, right, we need to add a short circuit so that this variable is available to us to use it as a controlled as a controlling variable for that for, for that source. This will become more clear when we look at controlled sources. All right, so if we have, so let's take a look at the short circuit stamp. If you have a short circuit between node i and node j, we can think about it as a voltage source with zero value, right? So we need to add the current is going through this short circuit. And when you're doing KCL at node i, we need to add is, so we have a plus one here. When we're doing KCL at node j, we need to subtract is, so we have a minus one here. Right, so we added a new column corresponding to this new variable is, and we need a new row corresponding to the model for our short circuit, which is simply vi is equal to vj or vi minus vj, so plus one minus one is equal to zero. We have zero, zero on the right hand side. <laughs> and that's our short circuit stamp, and as expected, it's the same as a voltage source with zero voltage and the key advantage here is that we have now is as one of our variables okay so hopefully after this video you're able to develop a stamp for a voltage source develop a stamp for a short circuit right we now have a systematic way of obtaining branch currents right so when you're developing your simulator you can um, easily add branch currents as one of your variables by adding a short circuit and you can add a uh, you know voltage sources and short circuits to the list of elements right in the program we're designing as a circuit simulator right so in your program for, for automatically constructing the MNA equations now you can you can uh, incorporate or include voltage sources and short circuits.